So welcome back everyone. This is Bob from LSC Digital. If you've been following along with everything, this will be the fourth video in this series. So originally we taught you how to create and update a database. Then we taught you how to query out that database to find specific contacts. And then we showed you how to actually create and send a mailing. And in this video, we're going to be going over um, some of the basic reports. And right away, if you've been following along, you'll notice that recently there was an update to the user interface right over here. We have a whole separate video covering that that will be linked in the description. All right, so without further ado, so we're gonna come over to reporting. We're gonna select the reports classic. It'll fly out the window here. And in this case, we're going to choose single mailing. And right away you'll notice all of the mailing names and subject lines, the contact lists that were associated with them, the date that they were sent, and some very, very basic metrics quickly just to discern all of them. So what we're going to do first is we're going to choose this newsletter right here, and we're going to see how it worked. So you'll notice right when you come into the, the single mailing report tab, you'll have a small graphical representation of your opens, your clicks, your forwards, your unsubscribes. And then scrolling a little further down, you'll see more detailed metrics, more exact numbers. So right here we could see that we had 983 unique opens and 308 unique clicks. And then over here we'll see our gross totals. So we see that there was 3,000 gross clicks and just over 1,400 gross opens. And then we'll see more information on the delivery here. So we'll see that we had a 98.22% delivery rate, which is very good. And we had 33,655 delivered messages. And then down here, you'll see any abuse complaints mailbox. So from here, you'll be able to use this area for any of your basic metrics. So what we're going to do now is something that's unique to the single mailing report. It's currently the only place other than using a more detailed API, which we'll cover in a future video, on how to acquire contact data. So you come up to the top corner here and you're going to click Export Tracking Data. And that'll bring you to this screen here. And because this was a newsletter with multiple clicks on it, we're going to want to choose Clicked as our tracking metric. Now, if we selected multiple tracking metrics, these download as individual files. So if you're going to do any more than two, we recommend holding off and conducting an API, which will give you multiple tracking metrics in a single file. And again, we'll cover that in a future video. So you're going to come all the way down to the bottom. We're going to click Continue. Now on this screen here, email is selected by default as it was our unique identifier to the database but you could select any other information that's in your database to be exported with that as well. In this case, we're really only concerned with emails. So again, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to click continue. And then we'll click export results. And you should be very familiar with this screen, your data job screen. So we're going to select our data job and make sure that our status is complete. So now as a file, it will be stored in our stored files. So we're going to come over here and we're going to click on our content icon, which looks like a little file, and our stored files. And all of the stored files that you do will be in your private. So if you're in shared, you have to click over to private. And then click on export files. And then if you have multiple files, like we do here, just look for the one with the current date stamp that you created or the file name that you would have associated with it. So we're going to select our checkbox, we're going to choose download, and we're going to enter our password. And click authenticate. And it will download your zip file. And then we're going to open up our zip file. And then you'll see click throughs here. If we had selected multiple options, like opens, you would see all of those other files separately here. 
So we're gonna open our click throughs in Excel. And here you'll see all of the data quickly. So what we're gonna do is we're going to come over to our remove duplicates because we wanna make sure that we're working with unique numbers. So we're gonna choose email and URL in this case because it was a newsletter with multiple links and we wanna see how each one of those links did in a unique standard. We're click OK. We're gonna remove our duplicates. There were 64 duplicate values found. We're gonna click OK. And then the easiest way to find out all of this data is to come up to insert and we're gonna use a pivot table. And we're just gonna click OK and it's gonna pop over into a new worksheet. Our email is going to be our value and our URL is going to be our row. So right away we'll see every URL link that we had in our mailing and how many emails were associated with a user that clicked that link. And again, these are all unique numbers. And we'll see that with a high difference between 10 clicks here being the lowest and 292 being the highest, that we had pretty good engagement with this message. And then from here, you'll be able to add this into any report format style that you may need to show how your particular links are performing in a mailing. So we're just gonna close out of this. Uh, from here, if you'd like, you can clean up your files by going ahead and deleting the file that you just placed in there if you no longer need it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over to our reports. We're gonna come back down to our classic reports and we're going to choose multiple mailings this time. Now, you'll use this multiple mailings report screen if you want to judge how emails in a series are doing. So let's take the same email that we just looked at and we're gonna go back and choose a couple other newsletter emails that we sent out here and we just kind of want to gauge an overview of how our last four did. Then we're going to come up and we're going to click add to multiple mailings report. Once the little check boxes disappear you're all set and you can scroll all the way down and click on create multiple mailings report. Depending on how many mailings you've selected and the amount of data that was sent out this could take a little while for it to populate on your screen so just be patient. All right and everything up here, you'll notice a lot of similarities between the multiple mailing report screen and the single mailing report screen. This graphic here is one of them. These will give you total numbers. So for all four of these mailings, there will be the 3,516 opens and the 758 clicks. To see how any individuals did, you can come up and just click on the name. And that will bring you into a single mailing report for that particular mailing. And then again, all of this is the same information that was before. So we're going to come back up and click on this link here, which is going to take us back to that multiple mailing report that we just clicked out of. And again, it'll take that little second to reload all the information. All right. And here again, this is just total information for all of your emails. How many totals for everything? In So up here, this area is probably where you'll want to see most of your data. Again, it's going to show you, you know, your soft bounces, hard bounces, receives, opens, clicks, and it'll tell you how each one of these mailings performed very loosely in relation to the others of the series that you've selected. And the last thing that you'll notice in the reports tab here, you'll find under reports classic. Uh, report Center, which we'll go over in a future video, as well as Performance Insights here, which we will also go over in a future video. But currently, as I said, the only way to download and retrieve your contact information based off of events is either through the single mailing report and exporting those based off of the event or through an API, which again we will cover in a future video. And that concludes the video on how to conduct and gather information for your reports. Who is LSC Digital? Everything we do is backed up by our quality data, meticulously collected and updated frequently by our team of experts. When you partner with LSC, you have your own team of experts 
who will work with you to plan and execute all of the steps of an effective program, from strategy and audience selection to content development and promotion. Our team delivers campaigns that appeal and connect with your target customers. This is the intersection of data and strategy that brings results.